Hi everyone, happy Saturday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and that's Nick right there. He's gonna help us pop open this case right here. 2020 Mosaic Football 20 box blaster break. Pick your team number 11 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. No veteran common ship and everyone has a chance at a uh, at the Bengals. If you bought at least two teams, if you read all that right there. Oh no, oh no, oh there's blaster boxes on the ground. Oh boy, big thanks to everybody right here for getting into the action. I'll run this a little bit slower then. Let's go to column A, alphabetized by column A. So if you bought at least two teams, that's one entry. Four teams, two entries. Most of the time it's gonna be the two teams, one entry sort of deal. Sometimes it'll be one and one, but read your item descriptions please on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Adam with two teams, that's an entry. Chadwick with two teams, that's an entry. David with two teams, that's an entry. Jeff with two teams, that's an entry. John with two teams, that's an entry. John S with two teams, that's an entry. Josh Lucas with two teams, that's an entry. Mark H with six teams, that's three entries. Michael Gluchy with four teams, that's two entries. All right, so we got Michael, we got Mark, we got Josh, John S, John G, Jeff T, David, Chadwick, and Adam. All right, just making sure we got everybody here. All right, so that's a total of 12 spots. The name on top after 11, six and a five. Name on top after 11 will get the bangles. Good luck, six and a five, 11 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11th and final time, name on top is gonna be Chadwick Galloway. There it is. After 11 times, your name is on top and you get the bangles in this break. We'll put the little rooftop next to your name so you know that you won that spot. Let's re-alphabetize these by team again. And let's print and rip. All right, there it is right here. 10, 10, 20, 20 box blaster, pick your team number. I don't know why that didn't make it onto the spreadsheet. This is pick your team number 11. There you go, pick your team number 11. Thanks very much everybody for getting in. Here's the final printout right here. Break schedules in the chat if you're wondering what's coming up. If it's not on the schedule and it's sold out, it'll happen tonight. Here's a couple boxes right here. And good luck, everybody. We got Tennessee at Georgia. They're down by two. Tennessee could upset. I don't know if they will, but still time left. NFL debut, Justin Jefferson. He's been playing pretty well, David, on the Vikings. Here's Jerry Judy. Silver NFL debut Jalen Ragor for the Fly Eagles Fly. Jorge with the Eagles. And the Jerry Judy will go to David and the Broncos. Those greens aren't numbered, by the way, if you're not familiar with this set. But all the so Vet Commons won't chip, but DJ Moore will, because that's green. That's the that's the parallel. All these inserts, of course, will ship. It's just that won't ship, that won't ship, that won't ship, stuff like that. Veteran base, veteran commons, however you want to call it. I think we do ship base Brady's and brace Mahomes's though. There's a Michael P. Ryan. And our just first Justin Herbert out of here. Mark H with the bolts. Just the base, Justin Herbert. His stock has been steadily rising with every start that he makes. Speaking of the Chargers, 
Let's see uh, who Chargers at New Orleans Monday night. Who does everyone have? Just just straight up. It's got to be Saints, right? No, Saints haven't been. I guess Saints were convincing last week against a not very good team. Chargers getting more and more comfortable with Justin Herbert at the helm. Got a pretty decent defense, too. Chargers, Saints? Uh, I'll go Saints. Saints, just straight up, yeah, Saints. If they move the game, Chargers. I think everyone's healthy on those two, Tim. I don't think that's going. that game's going anywhere. Well, a game that did get moved to that Monday, though. Denver at New England at 2 o'clock Pacific. Jacob Eason goes to the uh, Colts. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Zach Moss, green rookie. And there's Blake Martinez for EA and the Packers. Scripps autograph for the Go Pack Go. Denver at New England. The oh, there's a hurricane? Oh, right, there is a hurricane down there. Giants, not Packers. <laughs> Sorry, EA. It is Giants because he agreed to terms with the Giants. Uh, that's Mark H. with the New York Football Giants. You see the post-it notes at Jose's house? That's cool. Bam. I can just be like, New York Football Giants. Make that pretty. Make that even clearer. All right, there you go. Sorry, Eric and uh, Mark, you were the beneficiary of that. There's Zach Moss, Buffalo. Hopefully everyone's okay with the that that cane down there, hurricane. I feel like there's been a lot in that area. Right? Why do we not shoot the base? You don't care one way or the other. Just curious. It's it just helps. Helps us ship things faster. Helps your helps keep your packages a little bit lighter and helps keep shipping free for everybody. So, from a single break to break perspective, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of. It's like, why wouldn't you just ship them? But remember, we do like dozens of breaks a day, including personal breaks too. So every every minute kind of adds up. So every, every few minutes we can save here and there means more breaks that could go out faster for people. So they're Silver T. Higgins and cheaper, shipping-wise. Keep shipping free. We end up uh, either selling them and then donating the proceeds to charity or just donate the cards to charity straight up. That's what happens with the comments. So they, they end up going to a good place. Or we put them into the hands of... When we reopen at the end of the month, we'll hand them, give them to kids and stuff like that too. All right, one, two, three, and four. Another four boxes. Good luck, everybody. There's CD Lamb. And our first Tua Tagovailoa. We were just talking about him earlier and when he's going to make his NFL debut. And we're thinking maybe after the bye week, unless something happens to Fitzpatrick. I don't think they're in a rush to get him and those hips into NFL action. No worries, John. It's a good question. Got Game Mahomes right there too. What are some matchups everybody's looking forward to this week? Tomorrow, I guess. Sorry, already, already Sunday. Oh, nice MVPs, Mahomes, Green for the Chiefs. 
There's AJ Dillon, Mosaic Refractor for EA and the Packers. Arsenal likes Hawks Vikings. Yeah, that's the Sunday night matchup, right? Who does everyone have in that? That actually, actually is going to be a good game. I think Vikings trying to get back on track. Kirk Cousins trying to shake the whole he can't play in primetime sort of deal. But that's going to be a tough matchup in Seattle. You got your Hawks taking a, a blowout win, huh? There's Antonio Gandy Golden. Another green got game Mahomes. All those parallels are pretty nice for Oliver Smith and the Chiefs. This goes to Josh Lucas and the Washington football team. I think the Seahawks are minus seven, according to ESPN. There's NFL debut DeAndre Swift. So what's a what's a blowout to you? More than seven? Are we taking this to the bank, Arsenal? The pervert, maybe entertainment purposes only. Justin Herbert, NFL debut, Chargers, Mark H. Devin Duvernay, rookie silver for the Ravens. That'll be for John G. Mr. Wayne Haskins and a Tom Brady. Got game mosaic parallel for Michael. I'm um, check that Robert and the Buccaneers. Josh Kelly Green and our first Joe Burrow. Bengals are uh, at Baltimore. It's just. What if Joe Burrow beats Lamar Jackson? That'd be a hell of a story. Second win in a row. Outduels Lamar Jackson. It could happen. What's up, Jack? What's going on? There's Josh Kelly Green for the Chargers. That'll be for Mark H. Without Austin Eckler, Josh Kelly should get some good run. Is Columbus Day a federal holiday? I don't know. Teddy and I noticed there were a lot of cars on the road today. Post office might be closed. Oh, okay. I, th I think it might. Yes. No. Yes. No. I don't know. No. I don't think it's a federal holiday. It doesn't say. I think, did that get, yeah. Oh, no, it is. According to, according to OPM.gov. Yeah, Monday is a federal holiday for, for, for Columbus Day. So, uh, if just, we'll be shipping that, we'll be in that day, folks. We'll be shipping and all that stuff, but I don't think the post office will be picking up, so just add an extra day for some of your stuff. Don't freak out. It's a day late. Yeah, it's closed. There's another one. Two, three, four, another five boxes right here. All right. So the Bills are playing Tuesday night at Tennessee, then play at home, can't see two days later on Thursday night football. No, I think they'll, yeah, I think Adam's right. If that Tuesday game still happens, they're going to move that Thursday game. And I don't know, maybe just no Thursday game, I guess. I guess that's just how we're going to pivot. There's Joe Burrow, NFL debut, green. I think the Bengals are plus 13 on the Ravens. So there will be no Thursday night football? I guess there won't be Thursday night football, yeah. Not that... <laughs> Have those been exciting matchups? <laughs> Yeah, the one game was good. Uh, oh, Bears, the, the Bears Buccaneers game Bears was pretty good, actually. 
There's Justin Jefferson, green for the Vikings. That'll be for David Callender. And there's NFL debut Tua Tagovailoa. That goes to Brian and the Dolphins. There's Lamar Jackson. I think I kind of like Joe Burrow and the Bengals plus the points. It's Cole Komet Green. Javon Kinlaw, rookie silver. That'll be for the Niners. That's going to go to John. Full come out go to the Bears. And Bill Bates, an old safety for the Cowboys, going to Josh Lucas in Dallas. Now, Nick, what do you think? Ted is convinced that Miami is getting way too many points. They're plus eight. Yeah, he asked me to make a bet. I, yeah, he, same here. Um, who are they playing? Niners. How many points are they getting? Niners are laying eight. In Dolphin, San Francisco? In San Francisco. I don't know. I can just see Dolphins are getting eight. The team has given up on that <laughs> The Dolphins just like, forget it, bring Tua in. Yeah. Hey, there he is right there. Maybe you're right. Speaking of Tua, green Tua. Jimmy Garoppolo is playing... Mostert, I think, is back. The, they lost Brian the and the Dolphins. Nick Mullins played off. So, if Garoppolo can play halfway decent. Right. And then, East Coast team traveling all the way across the country amid these troubled no, times. I think San Francisco blows them out. I think so, too. But I don't know. Teddy, Teddy's the football savant these days. Like maybe the, probably the least bet game of the week. Maybe the second least bet. That, that <laughs> you think so? Yeah, probably, easily. right? Easily. What about Arizona at New York? No, no people like Kyler. People. Yeah, people and, like Kyler. And people like betting that against him. Right. What about Jacksonville at Houston? Yeah, that could be. <laughs> that, like, uh, that could be down there. head coach, sometimes people like to the new head coach bump. Jonathan Taylor, Colts. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Right, yeah. That's part of that's part of the Fitz magic. It's either Fitz magic or Fitz tragic. Which Fitz which Fitz will show up against Ted's Dolphins? Ted Jaspi on Instagram right now, at Jaspi's Breaks. So you can talk Dolphins football with him. Fins up. It's Tyler Eifert. Gronk. An NFL debut green, a Jerry Judy Broncos. That'll be for David C. All right, almost there, folks. Almost there. We got one, two, three, four. Five and another six boxes on the tail here. Good luck, everybody. Ooh, NFL debut green to a tag of Viola. A lot of Tua's here. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe he'll make his NFL debut sooner than we originally thought. Brian with the Dolphins. Nice. Thank you, Nick. All right, Nick helping us save a lot of time in this break. Jalen Ragor Green for the Eagles. That'll be for uh, Jorge and the Fly Eagles Fly.
And there's a fluorescent orange, C.J. Henderson, rookie. Fluorescent orange, 8 out of 25. That's for the Jacksonville Jaguars, Colin Adams. Nice. It's a cool looking parallel. I think a, I I want to say I don't know we got there's kind of frantic at the end we were pretty busy Jack but I think it ended up going slightly under I think everyone was saying the we set the line on that Tua kaboom at eight right and I think it went under I think it went for like seven something seven fifty seven seventy something like that. I mean still an excellent price. There's NFL debut Rugs. Hopefully he'll be playing for my Raiders this weekend. And there's Denzel Mims. John Sasso with the Raiders. Denzel Mims goes to Chadwick. And we've got Jacob Eason, rookie scripts. Rookie autograph going to the Colts. Adam Kupperman, last spot mojo. One of his last spot mojo teams. The other one was the Rams. Maybe we'll get both last spot mojos to hit. Always nice to get rookie autos out of blaster boxes. They're not too common. Or autos in general, I guess, not too common. All right, three. Well, let me grab the last box right here, too. So four boxes to go. Everything's done right here. Thanks, everybody. Good luck. Nice. How how did you do? Did you get any stampedes? Jack B playing a little a little Buffalo Gold at Harris. And there's Kenneth Murray, Mark with the Chargers. Buffalo. You never win at slots, okay, yeah. I love Buffalo Gold. Buffalo Gold doesn't love me. Somehow somehow they've those slot machine designers are pretty smart. Pretty much I just want to play the game to see the stampede. Because I think that's the that's the hilarious part. So I'll I'll put in twenty bucks into a machine just to see that. There's Chris Godwin. Eighteen out of twenty-five. That'll be for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Robert G. Out of twenty-five. There's Ar Arthur wins at slots. Jack, you remember Arthur's penny slot story? like Georgia is not going to be up. Well, I don't know. There's still 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. But Georgia just scored a touchdown. They're up 36-21 before the extra point. Javon Kinlaw, green. That's for the Niners. That's going to be for John. A.J. Terrell. For the ATL, that it's going to be for Michael Gallucci and the Falcons. And the final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Thanks very much for getting in. I think there might be another blaster case that we can do. But... Keep an eye on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Brian Edwards for my Raiders. John Sasso with the Raiders. I think he might not be playing. Ruggs might be playing. I think he had a hamstring, Ruggs. I think he's been practicing. He should be in. Edwards has an ankle issue. I think he has not been practicing. So I haven't actually looked at the reports for today, but I don't think he's... didn't seem like he was going to play this week, Edwards. Ruggs should. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen.
Another great blaster break in the books. This was pick your team number 11. A lot of, like I had a whole stack of parallels right here. So all those will be top loaded before they get sorted and shipped out. And a lot of Tua's this time. There you go, a couple Joe Burrows and a couple Herberts there too. All in all, very solid break. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.